we have exciting news. We have been waiting long for an identity feature. From Databricks 10.4, it is possible to set auto increment finally. It was a long issue with Delta that SQL-like automated identity was missing. When writing to a Delta table that defines an identity column and does not provide values for that column, Delta now automatically assigns a unique and statistically increasing or decreasing value. We will create two tables, one classic when we manually add the identity field and the second with automated identity. Identity columns have to be the type of big int. When option always is used, we cannot provide our values for the identity column. If we want to use also own values, we need to use, by default, option. Optionally we can define start with value and increment by step value. We will check what differences are within the Delta source files. Let us look to Storage Explorer. In both places, we see two JSON files with metadata and schema. We see difference. New Delta with identity column contains additional information start step fields and allow explicit insert fields. Let us insert some data into our tables. We skip the ID field in our new table as it is generated automatically. Let us select and see that our IDs generated automatically are there. After inserting new rows, high watermark field was added to the metadata. That field contains the last ID value. We are curious how identity will grow when two concurrent processes write to the same file. Will the number be continuous or not? We test writing to table with identity column from two notebooks simultaneously. However, it generates an error as the identity value is in the schema, so concurrent inserts are impossible. So it seems that the solution is not polished. It should somehow keep concurrent insert in a queue and then insert into table and update identity. In the future, IDs should not be in a schema file but, for example, in another Delta file with ID history. Of course, as a temporary solution, we can implement a custom solution and add the try accept, block and repeat the write when metadata changed exception occurs. After our inserts, let us take a last look at the long IDs list. There are no holes between numbers. We can say that identity is a small step for Delta but we hope that it will be a big stop in the future once current issues are fixed. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions regarding Delta and Databricks, please visit the Databricks community. In the Databricks community, I am a top contributor and I will answer your questions with pleasure.